Hello, people! My name is Rage, and welcome and all to some more Bottle 2 Fan Chambers Boogaloo. We have an official dance now. I know, the, the uh, like, the famous 10, I guess, I guess, maybe 12-ish. You know who I'm talking about. They're actually a dance troupe now, so... Yeah, get on it, guys. I expect your debut video. Either way, I am excited because this is Faith Plate Chain Week, one of my most favorite topics in the entirety of Portal, because I just enjoy being flung gaily through the air. Yes, I do. Hey, <laughs> <You> said gaily? <laughs> oh, that's what it means. Yeah, person. I, probably none of you have that reaction, because you're all mature and sensible people. So we start, probably should, you know, we start with I Am Back by Mr. Kakashi, the ninja of... Uh, Chidori making faith plate chains, sending me around corridors. Very good. I'm very critical when it comes from when it comes to faith plate chains because I've experienced so many of them that it takes something truly special to make me go nice. So this is this is a very good blue Peter. Here's one I made earlier example. Nothing crazy going on. Some nice timings. A kind of nicely made environment when only using normal portal stuff. Stuff like that. Very nicely timed. Nothing crazy is going on, but it's just, it's just nice, you know. Ooh, there's some gel here. Pushes me across. Okay, that was pretty sweet. That got a little bit fancy. That's what I like to see. Drop me onto the next one. All right, a very good, stable example of this is a nicely made faith plate chain when only using vanilla portal. Like, the fact it bounced me really nicely as well, that is lovely. I I can get behind that. That was good. That was very good. And you may notice there is a metric crap ton on the list that we're going to go through. So get excited. Uh, next up by Sutterine Soul slash Catby. I have no idea for a title, which I guess in itself is an idea for the title. So you lied about your having an idea for the title, Catby man. I know you did. Okay. Damn it! I hate you, Cat B. Oh, I hate you, Cat B. Oh, yes, I hate you, Cat B. Oh, yes, I do. So this looks a little bit, a little bit plain. Big rooms with faith play everywhere don't generally do it for me, but we'll see. You never know. This may be a red herring. Maybe a red pole. I do like the sliding down the wall into the faith plate chain, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure this one is up to the quality you'd usually expect, and I'm also kind of a little bit uh, inclined to dislike it because you killed me at the start with eye level lasers, you bastard. Only Inferno could get away with that, and even then, he barely gets away with that. So that really is it. I mean, there's a, there's a snowman, so I guess that's the best part of the chamber. No, I don't know. Big ass room with fave plates all around the walls. I think, I think you can do better. I'm very critical when it comes to fave plate chains. Next up, by level up max, we have off the wall. I'm hoping this chamber is quite off the wall. <laughs> ah, that's probably what he was going for in the title, so that actually doesn't mean anything for me to say it. So, yeah, zoom, 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 zoom! Okay, that was very cool. That was, I liked that. And then back up through the death field once more. Ooh, I was actually supposed to do something. Damn you! It is written in the rules that you are not supposed to have to do anything in a faith play. I mean, that's not actually part of the rules, and that was just totally my bad, but shut up, okay? My, re my reactions were not as good as they should be, though that was badass of me. Did that one very, very, very close. Ooh, that's kind of neat. Then back up we go. The lighting being used to great effect there. Ooh, was that actually the exit that we just, we almost tasted, but then had taken away from us? Oh no, there's the exit, so we're going to bounce between the fields. That is quite dangerous. That is very much dangerous. Like a fire in a nursing home. 
Oh, I get what you have to do. I had to actually like, oh my god. Oh, that is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Well played though. That is actually kind of crazy that I have to do what I have to do there. That's going to require some serial effort on my part. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This one. Okay, that was terrible. That was that was really terrible. That was just absolutely horrific. That was absolutely horrific. It really really was. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was that was I liked that. Not a crazy amount of interaction, but a sensible kind. I'm pretty cool with that. Next up, we have Vertigo by Jonathan Lulu. He's still got the really bad sort of disease cough going on at the end of his name there, but, you know, we can't blame him from that. It's probably a very rare, untreatable Lulu disease. So, you know, it's fair enough to him. Okay, already I'm a little bit suspicious. It's a big-ass room with faith plates lining the walls. Come on, guys. Oh, my God. Okay, that was cool. That speed was... Whoa, that, oh, okay, no, that was cool. Oh my god, all right, no, I see where you're going for with this. That is actually ridiculous. That is actually, like, the speed at which you've managed to make this go? Wonderful. That was wonderful. That was genuinely, whoa, that was, I'm happy, okay? I am happy. That was very well done. Oh, and the fact that, that one had a triple through there, just for style points and to the exit straight away. Okay, in that sense, the speed you achieved there, yes. Yes, indeed. Next up, we have Joel Shaddock's Faith. First hammer chamber from the beastie. Hedgehog. So let's see what he hath used to make his chamber glorious. Oh my god, that was... That scared me a little. I will admit, that scared me a little. Okay. So we got the gel doing its thing. I should have taken the, the cube with me, shouldn't I? Should have taken the cube with me. Should have taken the cube. I'm a little bit upset now. Because, I mean, there's no way that I would know that I needed to take the cube. Which is... Oh, no, I didn't need to take the cube. So that's good. Okay, that worked out really nicely. Using the curve of the button to send me to the correct place. Interesting. Okay, this is very well thought out. The timing here is excellent. Okay, ironically that happened as I said that, but we're not going to worry about it. Mistakes happen. Oh, there's no way. Oh, that was badass. That was absolutely badass. And then we're going to bounce up there once again, onto there. And there we have the exit. And another Frank Franken cube, just, just because. I wonder if I can take him in the lift with me. I can! I can take him in the lift with me! So that was pretty neat, but nothing crazy. So next up we got Airfare by Samot, who has recently got quite good at creating custom looking chambers. So I guess we should do this first. And then... Um, um, I, um, okay, <laughs> that's, um, that's, uh, that's the thing that happened. I'm, I'm not entirely sure why it happened, but that's, um, that definitely did happen. Save. Well, this is a very neat looking room that we're going to be faithing around. So if you're going to do a big open room with faith plates, 
this is the way to go. That terrified me little. I thought I was definitely done for, like 100%. Thought that was it. I thought I it was over. Okay, now we're off over here. Oh, no, we'd already done that, so... I guess we need to put this laser into somewhere. The question is... Aha! Wait. 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 Please let me replace this. Yeah, yo, there it is. Uh, so now we skip past there. So that was really well done. Okay, so that was supposed to happen. Oh, and now we're going back round again. So we need to obviously put the laser in the next one. This is actually a really neat little idea. I'm kind of happy with this. So we keep going a little bit further each time round on the chain, slowly progressing depending on where we place the laser. Look at that. Wonderful. So we sent that one over there. So hopefully, yep, there it is. We're going to continue uh, once more. Okay, I think this is actually my favorite one so far. This is very, very well made. I like just the subtle having to put the lasers around the place. That was very good. Well done, Samot. Next up, we have Apology Chamber from Lops Plate Chains. I'm not exactly sure what you're apologizing for, but that's okay. Hmm. So I was going to make a faith plate map. It was going to be in space. Would have been pretty cool. For an I know what's right whatsoever. I got lazy and didn't finish it. On a completely unrelated note, my paladin just reached level 100. <laughs> oh man, oh, that's, that was awesome. Next up, my raging zombie, we have chess and checkers. Oh, that was neat. That was really, really neat. Okay. So... Boom, and ah, so the entire chamber is in a checkerboard pattern. I understand the name of the thing now. Slowly going up here. Okay, that's coming out quite nicely timing-wise. We're going to follow it down. Vom, vom, vom. Oh, through the portal. That worked out really well. Down onto there. Back down onto there. Oh, and then we're going to use that one again to hit this one. And then back through the portal once more. That was cool. That was cool. Okay, lovely timings here. Really, really lovely timings. This must have taken a, a lot to get right. Like a fair amount. And there we are at the end. Very well done. Very well done. Nothing like, whoa, but just a very solid, nice faith plate chain. Next up, we have Reach Out and Touch Faith by Fail. When I first heard that song, and I still prefer to believe this, I much prefer the lyrics, Reach Out and Touch Faith. It just makes, makes everything a lot better, you know? Oh my god. The closeness I just came to those deaf lavers. Lavers? Those deaf lavers, you know. Those lavers ruining our portal chambers. They think they're so good with their death dealing ability. Oh my. How did I not die there? Wow. That is a little bit crazy. That is actually very, very well timed. That is very well timed. I'm liking that. Down we go once again. Boom, boom, sweet, boom, 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 come on, come on, we can do this, we can, we, we're gonna get, we're gonna get there, yeah, any, any set, yep, there we, there we, nope, okay, we're still, still going, and, eventually, yep, just trying to pointlessly keep me in this corridor for as long as possible, and uh, remember, it's not the number of faith plates that counts, it's how you use them, life advice. 
for the portal faith chamber creator. You know what's funny is Togedai didn't actually submit for this week and he is the faith plate chain guy, which I find kind of amusing. Maybe he was just like, I'll let other people have a go. I don't want to steal, steal their thunder. Well, maybe you should have done Togedai. Did you ever think about that? No? Well, maybe. Oh, wow, that was very, very closely done. That was cool. A lot of close shaves in that chamber. A lot of close shaves. Uh, uh, go on, have a thumb up. Next up, we have Death Chamber, Bounce of Faith by Orking101. The king of the orcs has submitted. Which is weird, really. You'd think he'd have better things to do. Like ruining mortals. His signature entrance and of course the- Oh, I like this guy. Some nice GLaDOS. You do not need to be crushed to solve this test. Okay. Ooh. All the way back over here. We're going backwards and forwards really nicely. Now we got this one. So is anything super mega ultra all gonna happen? Place your bets. Ooh, there's a ceiling one there. Can you even place faith plates on the ceiling? I don't think that you could, but there is a ceiling faith plate chain. Which does make me kind of happy. Alright, so that was just a slight adjustment. Wah, 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 beam. Which was neat. Okay, we got a portal going on. And then we have... Then we have some parkour to do. And I failed the, <laughs> the very first jump. Oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. There we go, like a mouse Look again. You, sailing through the air majestically, like an eagle, piloting a blimp. Very, very nicely done. Next up by the Lazy Titan, which is just the best name. Though, to be fair, if you were a Titan, you would probably be quite lazy. I mean, you know, it's it's probably exhausting being all-powerful. And we are off to see the Titan. The Lazy Titan! Okay. Wow, a lot of balls in this chamber. Not sure how I feel about that one, though I do like the idea of having loads of balls and cubes, for example, bouncing around with you, carefully timed so that you just keep missing them in very close shaves, because hitting them would obviously knock you into the water. So that's actually a really good idea, but I feel like you could afford to have a lot more balls in this chamber. I mean, I don't often give that advice out, but for you, I think you really, really could afford to have more balls in the chamber. That's all I'm saying. That is all... I am saying it's just something, you know, you can think about. Okay, this chamber is actually a lot bigger than I expected it to be. Yeah. No, but for real, it, it, it really, it really is. And boing. I still, the speed one, I think, is probably my favorite so far. Followed by Samots. Though we do have some really interesting ones coming up. I think we've, um, I think we've done Slice of Chamber with loads of Faith Plates to death at this point. I think we have, when it comes to Faith Plate Chains, because that's, the core of a Faith Plate Chain isn't the actual Faith Plates themselves and flying through the air, unless you do the super speedy thing that we saw. It's what's going on around you and how you can make the interactions with being thrown around be really cool with the timings and stuff going on. So just big ass rooms like that where you get bounced around, it's not ideal. So that's I just think that was just a lot of a lot of things that have been done before, you know? So next up we have the first chamber ever! Hashtag excited by the Clawsome, who has submitted many a good Minecraft map to Mapstrav. So I'm hoping he will continue his ways within Portal, and give us quite a nice first chamber. All right, we started out with some extreme speed there. That is okay. We press that button on the way past, like a boss. All right, well, this is certainly a little bit different from what we're used to. I feel like I needed to grab the, the ball on the way past there. 
Like that was my mistake. So if this is what I actually think it is, which is... Oh no, it does go in by itself. See, that would have been really neat is to keep making you bounce round and round and round until you manage to somehow catch the ball. That could have been fun. But for your first ever chamber, Clawson, I think that was definitely good. Next up, we have Sonic in this land by Maraknar, a famous five representative. I can't, I can't control this, so I'm excited. Oh, it's the actual, actual Sonic Springs. That is really, really cool. Cannot believe you've pulled this off. We go through the ring. We collect the ring. That is really, really neat. What an idea to do, to make it straight up Sonic all up in here. That's really nice to see. Vom, 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 vom. That sound is just, it's a very satisfying sound overall. Like, incredibly so. In fact, yeah, there's even the end of the stage there, the little sign. Very well timed, and we did it! Yay! Even the music as well. Well done, Marakna. Well done. Next up, we have Mountainous Fave by Joe Fish. <laughs> FFV free, please. You are definitely in the runnings, my friend. We just need more candidates. In fact, Sam Orr, if he keeps going the way he's going, is getting there. Whack the volume up. Like he said, I apologize for mega loud portal sounds. Oh. Wait. Wait. Ah, the classic song. Well, this is really neat, isn't it? Look at this. That was... That was incredible. Wow, we've already got through 9, 12. We've already got through 15 maps. So there you go, guys. That is... Uh, the Faith Chain Week. Some very nice additions. Vote 1, vote 2, vote 3, vote 4, vote 5, vote 6, vote 7, vote 8, vote 9, vote 10, vote 11, vote 12, vote 13, vote 14. Wait, did I miss one? I have no idea! Next week's topic is going to be... Hmm... Next week's topic is going to be... Is going to be. Is going to be. Ah, okay. I'm actually. All right. The entire floor of the chamber needs to be the water that kills you, and you cannot cop out and use glass covering water that kills you. There cannot be any way for me to stand on what is technically the floor level of the chamber so an entire sort of vertical design that's what i'd like you to have a go at maybe a little bit vague but i think we can get some cool stuff from that ragepoddle2 at gmail.com a link to it on steam in the body along with anything else you want to say but for now my name has been rage i'm gonna like if you enjoyed this and subscrizzle for mizzle a oh, good boy you've been watching